Hey guys, welcome to the 182nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our capture generator. And basically, what we're going to be doing is getting a string for the name of each captcha image. And you're probably thinking, well, that's stupid. We're just going to name the image whatever the text is in the image. Well, no, we can't do that because then bots or any other computer program could just read the name of the image and then input the name of the image as the text and it would always be right. So we're going to want it to be the MD5 hash of the string that's in the image. That way the program that uses the CAPTCHA can generate the MD5 hash of whatever the user inputs and if those are different then we know that whatever the user inputted is wrong. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is, like I said, just generating the MD5 hash of this random string we generate. And in order to generate MD5 hash, we're going to have to be using the system.security.cryptography namespace. So we're going to say using system.security.cryptography right up there. And in order to generate MD5, we're going to have to create a new instance of the MD5 crypto service provider class. So we're going to say MD5 crypto service provider md5 equals a new md5 crypto service provider and then we're just going to want to set a string um, equal to the md5 hash of this random string so we're just going to say string md5 string equals md5 dot compute hash and in order to compute a hash we're going to have to put inside here uh, a byte array so we're basically going to have to convert this random string right here into a byte array. So we're going to say byte array, I'll just call it buffer, equals a new byte array. And the length of this byte array will be the same length as this string. So we can just say random string dot length. Alright, and then we're just going to want to use a for each statement to loop through each character inside of this random string and convert each character individually into a byte. And then we're going to store that byte inside of this byte array right here. And in order for us to know which index of the byte array we want to use, we're just going to have to create a new integer here called y, and we'll set it equal to 0. And then each time we loop through um, the for each statement, we can just increment y by 1. That way we'll be filling each element of the byte array with a byte. So we're going to say for each character c inside of that random string, and since it's a string, we're going to have to convert it into a character array. And then we're just going to say for each character inside that random string, we just want to fill this buffer with another byte, or this fill this byte array with another byte. So we're going to say buffer, and then we know the index will be y equals um, c, but we want to convert this into a byte array, or a byte. So we're just going to say, um, we're just going to cast it as uh, a byte. And like I said, we just want to increment y by 1 right here so that we're actually filling every element of that byte array up there. Alright, so now that we have a byte array that is equal to this string, we can just get the MD5 hash of this byte array called buffer right here. So we can just say buffer. Alright, so now we successfully will calculate the MD5 hash of that random string up there. But we need this to be in a string, so to convert um, a byte array into a string, we're going to have to use the bit converter class since this md5.compute hash method returns a byte array. So we're just going to say bit converter dot to string, and we basically just want it to convert the byte array that that md5.compute hash method returns. Now, the bit converter class, when it converts um, a byte array into a string, it will separate each byte by a hyphen. And we don't want it to do that, so we're just going to want to replace that with nothing. So we're just going to use the replace method to replace that dash or that hyphen with nothing. So we're just going to want to replace that dash with nothing. Alright, so now that we have this MD5 string right here, we need to store it somewhere. And we're going to store it in a list up here. And in order to use lists, you're going to have to be using the system.collection.generics namespace. So we're going to go up here and say using system.collections.generic and now we can use lists. So we're going to say list and I'm just going to make it a string list obviously since we're going to be storing strings in here and I'm just going to call this list strings and obviously set it equal to a new list of strings. 
and then we're just going to want to add another string to this string list and that will be this md5 string right here that we generated. So we're just going to say strings uh, dot add and then we're just going to want to add this string right here. So add md5 uh, string. Alright, so now we have successfully generated the md5 of this random string that we create and in the next tutorial we're actually going to be saving the images and now that we have the name we don't have to worry about getting that later. Alright, so see you guys.